Have you ever wondered why you read roommate does in the room all the time? They could be stealing your identity, your bank account, your credit card, your student ID, or worse, your Facebook account. Do you want your roommate going and sending messages to that cute person you just became friend with? We will teach you how to protect yourself by creating several networks on a single wireless router. Usually, routers will have only one name or SSID for a device. Now we are able to map several SSIDs for one single device which will create several networks. When we create several different networks on a single device, we can also apply different rules for each individual network. Having several networks is a good idea because it will help prevent other users who are using the same wireless router from hacking into your computer. It is easy for another person on the same network to spy on a communication between a computer and a server. While most people don't have these skills, sometimes you never truly know who you are living with. First, you will need a router. It should be compatible with DDWRT. You can learn how to install DDWRT on your router by using the link below. And then you will need a laptop or a computer, an ethernet cable, Usually you will get an ethernet cable when you buy a router. Plug the ethernet cable into a yellow ethernet port on the router and the other into the ethernet port on your laptop. Power on the router by pushing on the turn on off button usually found on the back of the router. You are now set to configure your router. Open your browser and type in the router default address. Hit enter to access the GUI. You might need to enter the username and the password, but we skip that part in this video. Navigate to wireless, then click basic settings. Under the physical interface section, we will set the name of the main network by typing in main AB. Press apply setting at the bottom of the page. Under the virtual interface section, click add button. In the SSID form, type in the name of the roommate network, roommate IP. Press apply settings. Now, your IP should broadcast two SSIDs as you can see here. You can set the security mode for each network on wireless security page 2. For simplification, we choose disable for both networks. Next. Go to the setup then click networking tab. Under create pre section click on add. In the blank input box type PL1 as the name of the new bridge. Click apply settings again. New input boxes will appear for the IP address and the subnet max for bridge 1. Because we want to separate this bridge from the main one, we will assign it in another subnet by choosing for example this address. Apply, press apply settings. In the assign to bridge section, click on add button. Select bridge 1 in the leftmost drop down menu. In the next drop down menu, select WL0.1. WL0.1 is actually the generic name for the roommate AP. By doing so, we assign the roommate network interface to bridge 1. Press the Apply Settings button. You can see in the current bridging table section that WL0.1 is now assigned to bridge 1. To allow devices in the roommate network to receive DHCP leases, in the multi DHCP server section, click Add button. Then, then select Bridge 1 in the most left drop down menu. Click on Apply Settings. Using a set of IP table commands, we will allow both networks to access internet but not to communicate with each other. 
navigate to the administration tab and click on comments copy and pass these comments in the order of appearance into the big boss on the comment page click on run comments and then save startup this makes the router execute this script every time it starts this link provides a detailed explanation of the IP tables command used. Now it's time to test our configuration. In this test, we are going to use two laptops. First, let's connect one laptop to main AP network and the other to roommate AP network. Let's see the IP address of each laptop. We can tell that these two laptops is belong to a different subnet based on its IP address. First, we will test its connectivity with the internet by using simple ping command to Google address. Alright, but computer shows that it can connect to Google. Ok, let's try to connect from main AP network to roommate AP network using the same ping test. Next, let's do the other way around, connect from roommate AP to main AP. Both results show that we cannot connect from main AP to roommate AP and vice versa. Now we can be sure that our configuration is working properly. Thank you for watching our video. If you find this video helpful, please leave a comment below.